Hey, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to protect your data on your Synology NAS using data scrubbing. And like I said, this will help protect your data because it just runs checks against your data integrity and everything on your array. What data scrubbing really does is it just really removes any data in the pools that are incorrect or incomplete. Synology definitely recommends performing data scrubbing periodically to ensure data consistency and avoid any data loss in the event of a drive failure. So to set this up, we need to log into our Synology NAS, go to storage manager, once storage manager loads up here, let's go to our storage pool, then click on schedule data scrubbing. Once you select that, then you need to enable data scrubbing schedule. Once you click on enable, then you're going to select what pools you have. So if you just have one pool, just select the one pool or multiple ones if you have. Now the default is every six months. I think that's usually pretty good. I think I usually do three months, but I'll just leave it at the default for six months because the fact that you have it enabled is great to begin with because you definitely want to have this enabled. And then go ahead and run now if it's never been enabled or change it to three months it's just your personal preference but i'm going to go ahead and save it here once this is optimizing my uh, background task here then i'm going to go ahead and perform that's why it's saying i'm unable to perform it because the pool is already doing something right now um so once that gets done it's going to perform that data scrubbing task and like i said it's just a, a good data maintenance feature on your storage pools that you just want to have it enabled and that's how one of the ways you can use to help protect your data the second one is going to be actually having a backup plan in place right so you actually want to go to the package center it's actually free by Synology and you go to the drop down here, go to backup and then you want to install something called hyper backup. Once you install this, then you can connect a external USB hard drive. That's like maybe a couple of terabytes and you can back up your, if you got file shares on here, uh, VMs, whatever you might have, you can actually use this. It's completely free and you can use it to back up to an external hard drive. You can actually use, you know, Google drive and some other cloud backups, but I recommend using like an external hard drive, but that's just me. But like I said, this is another way to help keep your data safe, use it back up software please uh, i've seen so many people you know they've had multiple hard drive failures or they have one drive fail they never had data scrubbing in, in running they replace that second drive with a new drive and then another drive fails while it's for trying to rebuild and then their whole array blows up and they lost all their data so please back up your data use something like hyper backup enable your data scrubbing and that's all i have to say in this video guys so i hope you found this helpful please check out our discord server if you like the video please like it if you dislike it then dislike it and i'll see you guys in the next one